Joined now by David Gasson at Big 12 Basketball Media Day, and you've been here three years now for K-State, one of the, the oldest guys on the team in terms of experience at K-State. So what's it been like to experience year one, year two, and now year three? What, what are some of the differences and similarities between those three teams that you've been on? Um, I mean, it's been a new experience every year, really. Uh, all three years, I had to deal with pretty much a whole new squad. Um, you know, first year, obviously, we went to Elite Eight, and then last year, it wasn't as good as we went to the NIT. Uh, our goal is to go back to the tournament, you know, win a national championship. Do you think this team, with the depth and everything else, is, is capable of doing that? Most definitely. I think we're really versatile. Uh, I feel like we have the right pieces in all the spots, so uh, if we, you know, get together and, you know, do the right things, I think we can make a great run. It feels like each year at K-State, you've kind of taken another step in your game. Where do you feel like your game has grown the most going into this season? Um, just becoming more of a leader. Uh, I try to leader to try. I try to lead by example. Uh, my coaches want me to lead uh, with my voice more, so that's what I'm, you know, making progress in as well. Um, and then my outside shot, my catching, sh catching shoot shot, uh, and my free throws. And you know, thinking about what this team has in front of it this season, all these new players. Um, is that difficult for you to, to adjust to playing with basically a brand new crop of guys every year? Yes and no. Um, like at this point, I'm kind of used to it, especially now with you know, the transfer portal and NIL. You got guys uh, coming and leaving pretty much every year. So um, I missed a huge part of the summer because I was playing with the national team, but I feel like since I came back, uh, we bonded really quickly. The chemistry has been really good, both on and off the floor. So uh, I'm excited for that to continue to grow uh, throughout the season and see what we can do. What's it been like, that experience, getting to play with the national team? Um, it was amazing. Uh, I also got to play with my brother on the national team uh, in the Netherlands, in my hometown. Uh, I got to play in front of my whole family. And that's just you know a great feeling, uh, something I'll never forget. Now, kind of looking at what this team is going to be, it's, it seems like it's a lot of guards and then a lot of guys around the same height as you. What's it been like in practice and seeing how this team's fit is coming together? Um, it's been good. I think it's been really, been really competitive. Uh, obviously, a lot of guys trying to you know, uh, earn coaches' trust and you know, get playing time. Uh, I feel like that's really good for the practice. Everybody's getting better that way. Um, I feel like that's going to bring the versatility. Um, like I said before, we have all the little things. We have speed, athleticism, uh, ball handling, uh, outside shooting. I feel like we have everything, so it's just uh, up to us to put it all together. Coach kind of praised you for sticking around and being here three years and how special that is to him. Um, what What is it that has kept you at K-State for this long when you talk about all the other things that go on throughout college basketball now and all the roster turnover? Um, I mean, besides the fans and the community, I would really just say the coaching staff. Um, they really care about the players on and off the court, which is important to me. And I really appreciate that. Uh, when making my decision after the season and talking about it with my family, uh, I feel like I came back to that every, every single time. So that's uh, why I ended up coming back. I wouldn't play for any other coaching staff. Uh, I, I asked some of the other guys that have come through here about if they have like an impression of a teammate or a coach that they can do. Do you have uh, an impression that stands out to you that you can do for one of your coaches or teammates? Uh, <laughs> nah, <not> really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that's probably the safe answer. That way, you're not going to get <laughs> get any anybody upset with you. Right. Um, you've gotten to experience the Big Twelve multiple years now and everything at K State. What is it that you're looking forward to most about playing in this league for one final year? Um, just with the new teams added to it, I feel like the Big 12 is going to be even more competitive than it already was. Uh, you know, just looking forward to playing in new arenas and new uh, crowds, get to experience what that's like, you know, with Arizona, Arizona State, and the West Coast, uh, Colorado, Utah. You know, there's been some gyms I've never been to, so I'm excited to, you know, play there. And uh, just to compete for a championship one last time, you know, I haven't got a Big 12 championship yet, and I'm looking to add that to my resume. 
Who have been uh, some of the most impressive teammates that you've either gone up against or getting to play with in practice that, that stand out to you? Um, I mean, everybody's new, so, you know, everybody's kind of standing out to me. Um, I would say Doug McDaniel playing with him, he makes it really easy. Reminds me a lot of Marquise Noel. Um, Brandon, the way he's shooting the ball. Uh, I mean, CJ is playing really good. Uh, I mean, everybody's really, you know, doing their part really well, which is why I think he's going to be really good and dangerous. So, yeah. Yeah, you, you guys were picked eighth by the league coaches in the Big 12, but do you feel like. I mean, I, maybe that's not the question because I think you guys do feel like that. But what is it that you feel like the rest of the coaches don't see in you guys as a team that maybe they're seeing in others that were, were picked ahead of you? I'm not sure. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they don't think we are fairly talented or whatnot. Um, I mean, I can tell you that's not the case, but obviously <laughs> I'm going to say that. Uh, my first year here, we were predicted 10. And we ended up being uh, third, I think. So, I mean, you know, predictions are really just predictions. Uh, we're just going to show up, go out there and go for a championship, no matter what the predictions say. How, how confident and comfortable are you in, in the role that you feel like you're going to have on this team this year? Um, I'm really confident, uh, getting comfortable, each, more comfortable each and every day, uh, you know, being that leader, being that fat. Um, you know, Coach picks up on me a lot because, you know, I've been here for a couple of years and I'm supposed to do everything right. But um, definitely, you know, grow, growing every day and, you know, embracing that role as a leader. Uh, yeah, I feel confident it's going to be good. Which, is, which of your new teammates have you enjoyed getting to kind of interact with the most and, and see how they, they do things and translate into this team now? Um, I'll say Doug McDaniel and... CJ Jones, I feel like off the court I spend the most time with, probably. Um, I mean, everybody, like all the new guys I really bonded with really quickly, uh, Bob, Ugo, uh, Moby, uh, Cole, I mean, really everybody. I can go down all the way. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to the rest of the season. All right. Uh, well, we'll see uh, you guys in action, I guess, next week for the exhibition and then less than two weeks away from the start of the uh, official season. How how excited are you to just finally be able to get out there and get this season underway? I'm very excited. You know, it's been a long month of practice uh, against each other, uh, just competing against each other every day. Uh, I'm excited to go out there and, you know, show the world what we got and play against other teams. Do you feel like this team it, it probably starts with, with answering how – last year's team where the struggles came from but do you feel like this team has corrected those issues to be a team that in the big 12 can get back to the NCAA tournament most definitely um i feel like as long as we you know stick to the right thing and stay together we're gonna be good obviously last year we had a couple guys that uh fell off that were supposed to be used pieces pieces for our team but um yes yeah, we stay together stay healthy and you know keep doing the right things i think we got to make a great run. Awesome. I appreciate it, David. Yes, sir. Thank Thanks. You.